All right, so the next section is going to be Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides alternatives. So um, they have here CryptPad, privacy-focused alternative, strong encryption, and it's free. I've not, not heard of most of these. Uh, Zoho Docs, uh, does your Zoho do that? Uh, is your mail Yeah, account? Zoho does have a built-in document thing. I've never used it before, though. Okay. Etherpad. Now, here it says only Office, feels a bit more restricted, and it says LibreOffice offline. You can use uh, LibreOffice, which is free and open source, but they don't actually have anything about the online. Actually, though, this picture, though, um, this picture, though, is actually the online, um, the online instance. Um, but the the fact is that no, you can use it now. It's a little bit more complicated to set up, but I run it on my next cloud build. So this is actually my science fiction book that is forthcoming. Mm -hmm. So if you just kind of click in on one of these guys here, it's going to just load up the document. And mm -hmm. here we are. Um, here's the document, you know, so I can do any of the typing. It actually does a lot of, um, you know, your, your formatting, things like this. Um, for the most part, very good. It'll tell me when the last modification is. If there's other people that have access to this through my next cloud, we can be editing it at the same time. You can see there's users down here um, at the very bottom. And so this guy here works very well. Of course, I've put in all the different um, uh, Windows fonts that you're going to find inside of uh, any any uh, given different build. So no matter what, I shouldn't have any issues with uh, with this. Um, except I did find there's one font on here I don't have that I actually used for a document I wrote the other day. Uh, but this works really well. Uh, the big downside that I found is if you copy, everything is all internal copy and paste. Now, you can do like, uh, is it shift to get this? But uh, everything here is a menu, is a, an image. So it records this as an image. So I don't have a good way to copy this out and paste it. So I'd actually have to download the document. Um, so which which I can download as a PDF, ODT, doc, docx, or RTF. I just have to download the document, open it, and whatever, and do that. We can sign it. We can open. We can close. Um, and uh, that works really well for spreadsheets as well. Um, and it works for – I have not tested uh, presentations or not. Um, let's go ahead and just do a quick look at that. I've never actually tried that. So let's go ahead and see if that even works, what it looks like. I'm not sure I'd want to try and build a PowerPoint presentation online, but eh, here it is. First time I've ever tried it. Um, and this is running uh, Calibora Online Development Edition or code. And this is running on an AD AWS server and it's linked into my basic Nextcloud server. Uh, so a little bit more technical to set up, but you definitely have that option in there. Have right, you other... looked at um, only, um, Have you looked at only Office in Nextcloud? There's only Office for Nextcloud too. Yeah, they're they're pretty much set up the exact same way. They they pretty much have the exact same feel and setup. I'm just use LibreOffice for everything, so I've used LibreOffice. Um, how's it going there, Tech? What's going on? Good evening, everyone. Back from dinner. Oh. Sorry to jump in All in right. the middle. Hey, no problem. Um, sure. But of course, uh, we have Open Office, LibreOffice. Um, anybody use any of these other alternatives out there? LibreOffice. LibreOffice, all right. Yeah. From the yeah. very start. Yep. Pretty I much just. I, Go ahead, I just I use, use LibreOffice, and then for my schoolwork and stuff, I try to avoid Google Docs as much as possible, and I just use Word on my computer. Mm -hmm. The actual, not the 365 version, just the regular Word version. Yeah, yeah. I've used OpenOffice in the past before I moved to Linux and discovered LibreOffice. They had a Windows version of OpenOffice that yeah. seemed to be a good workaround for replacing MS Office. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, Apache, they made some good stuff back then. I don't know what happened to them recently. They used to make a complete server suite to go with your Linux, and you could host your own stuff right from your machine. Yeah, I think that might be what this picture is of. But actually, this says LibreOffice Conference, so I'm guessing this is LibreOffice. But uh, regardless, and it looks exactly like code. In fact, this is the previous version. I'm running code 6. They're, this one looks like uh, they're running code 5. But yeah, I don't I don't know if LibreOffice is still actively being developed or not, if it's just being basically maintained um, one way or the other. But uh, you mean OpenOffice? Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, I, did I say only? Oh, I meant open. 
Yeah, open office kind of fell off the map. Kitty showed up. Hi, Kitty. Was your vacation good? Did you have a good martini on the beach? Yeah. All right. That's a big kitty. It. Yeah, hey, we, we got please. a we got a cat. He's like ten pounder. I caught a ten pounder. 